Hi, my name is Alexander Glucki. I'm a physicist and expert for specialty class here at Schott. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was actually still in kindergarten and I grew up in an East German town, so actually the reunification had a major impact on my family's life and my life as well, just as it had for Schott, as it, the roots of the company are also in the eastern part of Germany. So what was our breakthrough? We make glass foldable, but why is that important? Well, if you have a look at your modern electronic devices you carry around every day, your smartphone, maybe your wearable or your tablet, the interface between you as a human being and the technology itself, it's basically always glass. And it provides a very high quality experience and it's much more durable than, let's say, a plastic interface or a plastic display. But it also has a major drawback. It's very rigid glass, as you know it. Uh, and this, uh, this kinds of limits the design options for the product developers and engineers. Um, and that's one reason why basically all smartphones look kind of similar in the last 10 years. But what if you could unfold your smartphone to double or even triple the display size and still have that glass display? So what was our essential new finding? So we developed an ultra-thin glass and a technology behind it that is thinner than a human hair thinner than 0.1 millimeter and you can bend it thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of times without any breakage. And what does really stand out, I think, is that we are able to mass produce this type of glass for potentially millions of devices already today and we are the only company who can do that. We also developed a glass composition where we are able to chemically strengthen the glass which is very difficult to achieve and it is very important, of course, for such devices to do that. But how do we benefit? How does society benefit from that? So I think UTG unfolds our imagination and it enables new mobile devices already today and I'm sure it will inspire developers and product designers for future generations of devices. When I show this glass uh, to my family and friends, they always think, okay, this seems to be a plastic foil or something or when I shake it, it sounds like a metal. And as a scientist and developer, it's, it's a, just a great sign for me that uh, nothing is really set on stone. And I'm really eager to discover what can be done next with our ultra thin glass. But of course, there are always some unanswered questions. Like for example, handling of such a delicate material is extremely challenging. And we need new sophisticated production technologies to do that. And we as glass experts can help our customers and the companies along the supply chain to build up this expertise. And I hope that they will be able to create even better new products um, along the line to change people's lives. So what did I want to become as a child? So actually, I always wanted to be a scientist. When I was very little, I first had dinosaurs in mind. Later, I got more interested in the more general natural sciences. And um, for a scientist glass, I think it's the perfect material to work with. It's very versatile. You can change properties by changing its composition and the format. And uh, yeah, you can create a whole new range of properties. And that is what my team and I are doing here at SHOT. Shot. Glass made of ideas.